Hello there, it is almost five o'clock and it's my great pleasure to introduce a brand new guest here. We've got Talking Point joining us. Now do stay with us for this next hour because we're talking about different resins. These are eco resins as well. Now I am going to introduce our wonderful new guest. Her name is Rachel and she's uh, ready and waiting to get going with demonstrations already, I believe. I am. Rachel, good afternoon. Lovely to see you here. Good to meet you too. Wonderful. I've got to ask, where does the name come from, Talking Point? It's a play on words, point. I can see, it but is. it's very clever. It is. When we originally started the business, we were focusing on leather craft and talking. Talk is an old English word for um, turning animal hide into leather. Oh. So it's spelt T-A-W-K. And then we wanted our craft workshops to be fun and relaxing and a good place to meet and talk to new people. So it's a kind of play on words, talking, talking. Very clever. That's where it comes from. Very clever. Well, of course, we are looking at resin in this show. Now, this is an eco resin as well. Um, now, Terrazzo is the name that we're looking at as well there. We've got some gorgeous kits for you. In fact, let's have a look at the very first one, the Terrazzo Flex. How did you discover this product? Um, I spend a lot of time on social media researching new craft trends and I noticed uh, the Terrazzo products coming up and um, I thought right, I need to get in with that. <laughs> um, so I had a good look around and found a company that produced the eco resin and ordered some and had to play around and here we are. Oh how lovely. I do, I do love to hear the background stories from all our guests. Let's have a look at this kit though because we have got for you two different options. Now this is your hexagon terrazzo coaster kit. Now I have got two different samples at the back here. I'm going to show you the one with the black and the brown flex to start with. Now these are quite weighty, which is a good thing for a coaster, Rachel, yes. isn't it, obviously? Yeah. So this is made of the resin. You can see the flex in there. That is really nice, actually. And that's going to go, I think, in any sort of home decor environment there. Let's just see the edge of this as well, so you can see the depth of that. Now, in the kit, you are getting the moulds to create this. You're getting the resin, of course. You're getting sandpaper in there. You're getting the flex. You're getting cups. You're getting protective gloves as well. Uh, we have got the other option to show you. And I will ask Rachel a little bit more about this kit in a second. But I just want to show you what you can create here. Really, really pretty. The other option is your primary. It's your white resin there with the primary colours. Isn't that pretty? Really nice indeed. Now, I'm just going to point out, if you've noticed on the count here, there's a slight difference in some of the bottles. Don't worry about that. You're going to get exactly the same products. It's just the shape of the bottle. That's what we've got here. Uh, so let's talk to Rachel about the kit in its entirety. So tell us exactly what we're getting. Of course, we've got the full instructions in there as well. Yes. Um, you've got two coaster moulds and you've got the powders that are all pre-measured and the liquids that are pre-measured. Oh, so all you have to do is... Uh, follow the instructions which are photographic and really easy to follow um, you simply put the liquid into the cup and then slowly add in the powder and mix it and then when it's fully mixed you add in half of the chips in the color that you've chosen I say mix it up pour it into the mold wait half an hour have a cup of tea or something Only half an hour and yeah. then it's set enough to and then it's mold. Set, and then sand it and then we'll finish it Wonderful. And you, you are including the sandpaper in there. Very, very fine sandpaper as well. The moulds are reusable as well. You can demold yes. and use those time yes. and time again. I mean, if you did encounter problems getting it out of the mould, if you contact us, we'll replace the mould. Wonderful. So there's two options there. You've got a good saving on this as well, a £4 saving, £32.99, 650615. And already almost 20% of the stock has gone. We do have more to show you, though. I mean, this is much further than the coasters. The 20% of the stock gone has gone on the primary, by the way, just so you know. So that's the most popular so far. Uh, we'll keep you up to date with, with stock updates as we go along as well, because, of course, this is the first show for Rachel and Talking Point, uh, brand new supplier here at Achanda. Now, let's move down. Let's have a look at the next item. Now, this one here, a little bit different with the moulds, you can create some beautiful trays. Now, we do have the flex here as well everything that you're going to need in that kit again I can see here we've got the sandpaper in there there's the gloves um, oh there's even some coconut oil in there I'm going to talk to Rachel about that obviously you've got your resin you've got your pigments in there as well do you know let me show you again 
what you can create here. You can see the oval shape of the tray moulds. Really effective, isn't it? And this is so smooth. Does it come out this smooth, or is that simply because it's been paper? It, it does used come out sandpaper? smooth. Um, but you, to reveal the terrazzo pattern, you will need to That's sand it. That's why you sand. Ah. Is there a point then, Rachel, where you could sand? Do, is it is it a case of sanding to the point that you like the effect? Yes. And then you stop. Yes. So you can keep going a little bit yeah. further, a little bit. Further. So you you reveal those flecks. So you're going to get a completely different look every single time. Yes, it come each one comes out completely different. I love that idea. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you another one of these trays, actually. Tell us about the items in this particular bundle then, Rachel. OK, uh, you still get the pre-measured powders and liquids to make two trays, but with this one you get to make your own terrazzo chips, so you'll also receive some little bottles of pigment colour. Ah. So you can, uh, you'll need digital scales to measure out a little bit of extra liquid and powder, and then you can make up to three colours and then um, make your own chips and then add them into the trays. I love this idea, to make your own ch uh, chips there. How fabulous will that be? Now then, of course, you can do whatever you want to your own colour scheme. I can see we've got some primary colours in there, so can we mix the pigments as well? Yes, you can mix them. They blend really easily and then you can make pretty much any colour you like. Amazing. Do you know that is the perfect combination of colours with having the three primary and you've got the black and white in there as well. Uh, lots of stirring mixes here as well. You've got your yes. gloves in there, you've got your cups in there, the pre-measured uh, powders as well. But to be able to make your own flex, I love this idea. So just remember for this particular kit, all you need are those digital scales. And I think most people have got those now. Um, you know, if you do anything at home, just make sure that you use a container. Normally you can set them to naught, can't you? So you yes. put your cup on set it to naught, weigh out the powder so just remember of course to use the proper utensils when you're making your wonderful items now the drying time on this one to demold then rachel what, what are we looking at about an hour for about this an one? hour yes that is amazing isn't it it really really is can't tell you how smooth that feels love 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 that idea of being able to sand back to reveal those flecks in there so you get those different looks that's a great little tray for your jewelry on the dressing table it isn't is. it it also fits uh in bathrooms where you get uh the pump dispenser of liquid soap and oh then i like that cream. idea it yes, looks really so stylish matching Soap, matching uh, hand cream in there. What a lovely gift that would be. So you could buy the hand cream and the soap, make the tray, and gift that as it is. Some nice cellophane around there. That would look amazing. You, could you put your soap on there? Would it affect it? Would it cause any problems? Uh, you could. It would probably leave a, a little bit of a mark, but if you just give it a wipe down every day, and it would be OK. It yeah. I like that idea. Now, I've got to ask, we do have a little bit of coconut oil in here. What's that for, Rachel? It's just to give a nice sheen and a tiny bit of protection to the trays. Oh, lovely. So, so you only need finish. a tiny bit yeah. just to work that in there. What a lovely kit. £5 saving and we've got a flexi buy option for you as well. Two payments of £20. A really lovely gift set for this if, if somebody wants it as well, if you want to gift it to somebody else. But I think keep it for yourself and make those gifts. Almost a quarter of the stock has gone at 196541. Now, it doesn't stop there because we've seen coasters, we've seen trays. What about jewellery? Yes, you can make jewellery as well. I love the idea of this. This is a really, really useful kit. Again, if you want to make to gift, you can. If you want to make for yourself, the necklace that we're looking at at the moment, actually, myself and Lottie was producing, we both had our eye on this one. We're really admiring this. Really, really lovely. And if you're wondering how to get those flex in there, then it's quite easy again. Let's have a look at the kit again. We'll ask Rachel a few questions, but also I'll show you one or two more samples as well. And actually, Rachel, we can't avoid seeing the lovely piece of jewellery that you're wearing as well. Um, and also, I've got a blue one here with those flecks in. Again, super smooth. You're getting your, your flakes in this kit. You're getting your cord in there. You're getting the findings to attach, you know, those wonderful findings. This one is just a cord, actually, but we can see we've got findings on some of them as well. Now there's Rachel's, which matches beautifully with her <laughs> pink top, of course. Very nice indeed. You've got the pigments in here as well. So you, you're looking at the pigments there. You've got the black and you've got the white, the yellow, the red and the blue again. 
beautiful so you can mix those different colors isn't that effective i'm going to give that a bit of a wiggle so you can see those flecks now with this one then rachel do we need to sand this or do the flakes tend to sit and stay where they are uh, they sit quite well if you're you can just make like a block color and into the mold add uh, the mica flakes and there's um, gold leaf and silver leaf that come with the kits as well place that into the mold and then pour in the mixture and then when you demold it there's no need to sand it become because it comes out smooth but if you make oh, a terrazzo piece then you'll need to sand it to reveal to the reveal pattern. those flex. And again, you've got the coconut oil in this one, so give that a little bit of protection with that. Let me just show you again here. I'm going to turn so you can see at the back there. You can see the cord. You can see the little findings in there as well. And then we've got the flakes. We've got the silver and the gold. What are these then? Mineral flakes. So they're a little bit different to your mica flakes. Uh, they are mica flakes. Ah, lovely. There we are. You can see the metallic ones and you can see we've got the mineral flakes there, which are absolutely beautiful. What lovely effect. So you can put as few or as many flakes into each piece yes. as you want then. Yes, there's the variations of colour as well. So you get a, a surprise when you open the box, oh, but they're all the oh, most love loveliest that. of colours. And then if you've got a little keepsake or something, a little, I don't know, a little metal embellishment or a memento or something like that, could you cast that? If you put that into your mould, could you then yeah. pour the resin on? Mm -hmm. So you can make them very personal as yeah. well. And if you live uh, near a beach, you could collect some shells and crush them up and cast those into the resin as well. Oh, how lovely. Lots of ideas here then. £29.99 is the price for this bundle. You're getting an awful lot for your money as well. £5 saving, 160009. Now, over on the website, that's where you'll find everything, of course. Now, we do have an option with a flexi-buy option. If you uh, want to go for that one, you're opening up that flexi basket straight away. If you wanted to add in the jewellery kit as well, then of course you can split the cost of that one because that flexi basket is already open. So let's just do that just as an example so you can see there. Very easy to do indeed. If you want to choose that flexi buy option, then you can see it will split the cost of both of those items there. What a lovely way to gift or just treat yourself. That's what I think. Right, this is going to be Rachel's first demonstration. <laughs> and before I do hand over, I'm going to say a very special hello this afternoon to Harry and Ollie and, no, in fact, the whole family who helped putting these kits together because this is a family <laughs> business, isn't it? It is. It? Everybody's been involved at home. Now, you've got two children, Harry and Ollie. How old are they? Harry's ten and Ollie's nine. Oh, and they are watching. Oh, can we all give them a wave? Rachel, give them a wave. I know they're very proud of Mum on TV. <laughs> right, now, let's see the demonstration. Let's see how this is all works. What kit are we using, Rachel? Uh, we are using the coaster kit. Wonderful. So we're going to tip the liquid into the cup. OK. There we go, straight in, already, um, already weighed out, weighed out, measured out, so there's no worrying about that. You haven't got to sort your millilitres out or no. your grammage. And then uh, tip some of the powder in and start stirring. OK. You've got sort of a 10 to 15 minute working time before it starts to set. So quite a generous time then, it really. Is. Lovely. So about half the powder, did you say, then? Stir that in? Yeah. It's just easy to incorporate it when there's less powder in. Now, I presume we want a nice, smooth mixture. Is yeah. that the case? Yeah, like single cream. Yeah. Oh. And is there any specific time you need to stir for? Is there a set time? Can you understir or overstir? Um, you can't overstir. The worst that would happen if you overstir is that it starts to set in the cup okay. and then you can't pour it. Uh, under stir, uh, you'll get like um, a mottled effect on the top of the coaster Yeah. Uh, where it's just not been stirred for enough. So you need to stir it for at least a minute to get all the lumps out and make sure it's all incorporated. OK, like Lovely. this. And um, sort of the base colour for the hexagon, co hexagon coasters is just an off-white colour. We've not added any white into it. 
It's a really lovely colour, actually. I'm just going to show the samples as Rachel's stirring again there, just so you can see these, because, of course, you've got two different options. We've got the black and the brown fleck in there, which I, I think is lovely, actually, because that's going to go with anybody's home decor. The primary is this one here, so there's beautiful colours in there, obviously your primary colours. And don't forget, with the sandpaper, that's what you're going to do. You're going to sand back to see see those flakes in there now the primary option is still the busiest a third of the stock has gone 32.99 for the kit you're getting so much in the kit don't forget you're getting two molds just going to point out as well it's not just the bottles we've got a slight difference in the liquid is exactly the same the amount is exactly the same it's just the shape of the bottle and it doesn't matter whether you get clear molds or the white molds they do exactly the same thing there you are, the eco resin. Can I just ask a little bit more about the resin then, Rachel? Because if it being an eco resin, I presume it's non-toxic, it's no. not going to harm the environment at all. No, it's water-based as well. Um, it's sort of a mix of gypsum min minerals and then a, um, acrylic resin liquid. Okay. So okay. there's no harmful chemicals that happen when you mix it all together. Um, so as long as you use it in a well ventilated area okay um there's no need to use uh, protective equipment the if you've got a a problem with using fine dust then maybe wear a mask okay and we do supply gloves because it's is classed as a mild irritant but i've been using it for months and months and never had any pro i never wear gloves <laughs> Do you know, it is nice to be provided with those gloves. And I think, do you know, I had a similar show uh, recently where I was using fine powders, casting powders, and to be quite honest with you, I had gloves with me as well, and I didn't put them on, but I did say, do you know what, if you are finding that with any sort of powder there's a bit of an irritant and an example I gave was if you're decorating you're sanding the plaster walls sometimes you know you can feel it makes your hands feel a little bit itchy so the gloves are there if you want to wear them you can but it's not because there's any any sort of poisons or toxicness about those words are coming out very strangely this afternoon in those uh, those, <laughs> those products of course and you said about a ventilated area there Rachel uh, just open a window just but I can't smell any sort of odour coming no, from that. Is it odourless? It is pretty much odourless, yeah. Really Just nothing. nothing. Do you know, it's nice though, isn't it, that you haven't got something that's overpowering when you're working with it. It's nice to have the pleasure of making something without well, having to worry about, uh, you know, upsetting everybody else in the house, really, like you do when you're using a heat gun and it's a bit noisy, that sort of thing, and you get complained at. That's so why we have a Ranger one. It's very quiet. It's... Uh, it's at a cream consistency now. So we're gonna mix in half of the terrazzo chips. You can add in as many as you like or as little as you like. If you want a really dense chip coverage, then you can add in more. And if you want less, then you can add in less. Okay, lovely. So I'm putting in about half the packet. There's a few bigger lumps in here. So if you, if um, your kit comes with bigger lumps in, um, you know how you crush digestive biscuits ah, for a, yes, a cheesecake. Yeah. Just get the rolling pin. Oh, in a plastic bag yeah. and a rolling pin. That's what we do to make them smaller. So we're still mixing. And then, could I just have one of those moulds, please? You certainly can. I'm just going to let Rachel borrow one of the moulds. There we go. Thank you. And then uh, we're going to pour in the mixture around the edges so it goes down into the ridge. Now, does it self-level to a point, or do you need it to give does. it a helping hand? It does self-level. It's... Um, really clever you wouldn't think that would set so quickly would you looking at it it looks very satisfying it is and then we're just going to push the stirrer down the edges to make sure the mixture has reached the bottom okay now, do you have to watch for any air bubbles at all? You do. It's, um, I find it impossible to get out all of the air bubbles, but to counter that, we 
Oh. You just need to bang it yeah. on the work surface to try and remove as many bubbles as we can. Okay. There, you can see that nice smooth surface there. All yes. those lovely flakes in there, which of course are going to be revealed once you sand a little bit. Yes, and then you have a bit of mixture probably left in the bottom of your cup. So if you get um, back of a plastic bag, you can spread it out onto your plastic. Okay. We have non uh, we have non stick crafting sheets as well. I presume that would work yes. very well as well. So then there's no wastage. So if you spread it out thinly, then once it's dry, you can crush it up and add it to your next lot of coasters or trays that you make. Oh, lovely! Oh, so it all for our mixed media um, crafters here as well, you could use that. Yes, it maybe in your texture paste when it's dried. Um, use it on your canvases as well and do all sorts of techniques over it. So don't waste a single flake. No. So set the timer for half an hour approximately. Okay. And um, wait for it all to dry. Lovely. Amazing. Do you know, very easy to do then, isn't it? It really is. Now, don't forget, we've got two different options when it comes to the coaster set. Let's have another look at these kits because, of course, I have got the samples to show you both. Um, essentially, getting the same ingredients in each kit, it's the flakes that make the difference, those terrazzo flakes there. So we have got the black and the brown together, and then we've got the primary. Full instructions with photographs, as you can see. We've just watched how Rachel has uh, mixed that wonderful resin there and how easy it is to use. What I love about this kit as well is you don't need those scales you don't have to measure out I mean I haven't got a problem with that most people quite enjoy that process but sometimes you're a little bit frightened if you think well I've got to measure if I get it wrong and I do it wrong you don't have to worry about that because everything is there for you so here we have the black and the brown flakes within that wonderful resin coaster Remember, this is eco-friendly, uh, this is water-based, but it sets so firmly and it is super, super smooth. Let me just show you the depth of the mould again there. So this piece obviously has been demoulded from the mould that you are going to get in the kit. In fact, you're getting two of those. Let me show you the primary as well. So a different look every time, as we say, because the size of the flakes, the amount that you sand back. Almost a third of the stock has gone on the primary. I think you're loving those bright colours again this afternoon. $32.99 is the price. There's a four pounds saving so the powder the flakes the instructions the gloves the cups the resin the coconut oil is in there the stirrers you've also got the sandpaper in there as well the whole kit item number six five zero six one five now rachel i think you've got one there that's been set in have you yes lovely so show us how you would demold okay uh the easiest way to demold is to push from that side, push okay. up. Lovely. So you basically how you're holding that there, you're pushing from underneath. Yes, and pushing, sort of lifting it or pushing it up yes. with your fingertips. And then you should be able to lift it out with your fingers. So you've just got to sort of ease work your way around. All the way around on each edge there. There we are. There we are, wonderful. Okay, so you can see some of the chips coming, flex coming through. You can. That looks such a pretty colour. It is, it's lovely. And when we've made the moulds, we've had to put drill holes into the coasters to because we vacuum formed all of the moulds. So you might worry you can see little dents in the base of the coaster. Okay. We're going to sand those out. Right, I understand. Okay, so to sand it, it's really easy. You just need a bowl of water and um, using the rougher sandpaper first. Okay. Oh, so you dip it right into the water. Yeah. Dip that in. And the sandpaper as well. And then... Ah, so you're Start taking sanding. the moulding piece to the sandpaper rather than the sandpaper to the moulding. So, 
there's a bit of extra work to be done on this one because there's just a little bit extra at the base but just keep sanding okay. and you'll sh eventually start to bring up the pattern from the terrazzo oh lovely now the, the little bit of overspill on, at the base there that can be sanded away when yes. you pour your resin into the mold if you put a little bit less in would that avoid yes that happening yeah so it's maybe something to watch out for when you you pour your resin yeah, you can... It just saves on the work that you have to do afterwards, doesn't it? Does, it does, it just saves sanding. You can just take your scrape, uh, your stick across and scrape off the excess so there isn't any overspill. Lovely. So, it's just starting to come up, so you just keep dipping it in the water. Okay. And sanding. Now we can uh, hold that just to the camera in front there so we can have a really good look at that as well. So it's just starting to you bring can up see the them brightness. Coming through, can't you? There we are. Look look how bright the yellow and the blue and the red is on the edge there. So what about this the center of the coaster then? So for the center you do need to put the sandpaper in like this and and so now you really do take the sandpaper to yeah. the casting. And keep dipping it into the water to remove the... the resin that you've sanded away. Lovely. So once again, just about half an hour is all you need to let that set. Mm -hmm. You've got a 15 minute working time or working window to pour that resin in the first place, which is ample time actually for the, the size and the shape of the moulds that you've got. Do not waste any leftover resin. You can use that in other ways, of course, for your mixed media projects. Now, I presume we could, and with any leftovers as well, if we've got other moulds, we could use those as well if we've got yes. things at home. Yes, it's, uh, it's very versatile. You can, it moulds into anything, basically. Is there, if you've got something, maybe a wooden shape or something like that, could you pour into wood or would it stick? Is there something you can do to help release? Um, I think if you coated with the um, coconut oil, that would help it to release. But I think it's, it is best to cast into a silicon. Yeah. Or, so you've got a bit of give. You've got the flexibility yeah. and it won't stick at all, will it? I'm just thinking if you have a look around your house, you might find a few things that you could use as little moulds. Perhaps you've got packaging. You know, when you get those trays, you get those trays, quite often yes. you get circular trays or triangular trays. Maybe you've had a box of chocolates or something. Could we chocolate use those trays. things? I've cast into chocolate trays have before, you? yes. See, don't ever throw anything away. There's a purpose for everything. In fact, the coast, uh, the moulds that we've made is the same sort of plastic that the, the uh, people use to make the chocolate ah. trays. It's, it's made from about 70% recycled materials. Plus, when you finish using the mould and it's time to throw it away, it goes through in your plastic recycling. Oh, perfect. Now, just a little reminder, it doesn't matter whether you get the clear or the white no. plastic. They both do exactly the same job. It's just the difference of the colour of the plastic. That's all it is. And you do get two of those in each kit, remember? Yes. So you would keep sanding until you... Um, Reveal all the terrazzo. Okay. And uh, sand the back as well to make it nice and smooth. Lovely. I suppose you could put a little bit of felt on the back if you yes, wanted you could. to as well. You could put the felt pads so it definitely wouldn't scratch your table surface. Yeah. Gorgeous. Do you know, I'm thinking of all the other things we could add into this as well. I think when we're looking at the jewellery kit, you've got the metallic flakes in there, you've got the mineral flakes in there as well, but maybe you've got little beads or, you know, little embellishments we spoke of earlier. I suppose, really, there's all sorts that you could add in there, isn't yes. there, Rachel? Yeah. Um, crushed glass. Yeah. Um, that creates a lovely sheen. Oh, yeah. how nice. And um, I think you could, once um, you've sanded it and put some uh, finishing oil on it you could um, put like lustre uh, powder around the outside yes. to create that a little extra nice. or something like the viva waxes would be beautiful 
because you could you could put all sorts of effects in there couldn't you as yes. well i'm just thinking as well when it comes to the jewelry pieces do we do we need to drill the holes for the jewelry pieces if you wanted no. to change them no oh, they're already there you can uh, on the molds we've supplied uh, the bigger pendant molds the holes are already um, when you pour in they're made because they're in the silicon okay uh, with the little ones we've got some pendant mounts to stick on but you can drill into the into the terrazzo pieces wonderful would it just be a, a, a regular masonry bit something like that that you yes. use for the drill to do yeah. that lovely well I've got to say, what a wonderful guest Rachel is already. First time we've seen her here on TV, of course. Um, boys, I hope you're still watching. Uh, two different options, of course, for the coasters. Let's give you a reminder there. We've got the, the black and the brown. Let me show you that sample again. And we have got the primary. Don't forget to check your baskets out. I think it's just the one hour for Rachel today. Brand new supply. If you've got any questions as well, do email in studio.chanda.com. Let me show you the primary coaster as well. Yes, if there's anything you're thinking of and you think, oh, I wonder if I could do this or I could do that or is this something that I shouldn't ever add into the resin? Is there anything that jumps to mind, Rachel, that you would say don't put in there if you've got your own bits and pieces? I can't think of anything because you can add sort of uh, metal fillers, so uh, bronze powder and iron powder so that when it ages slightly, you get a, a different sheen to it. Yeah. So would it is it better to put a dry ingredient in there, something like a yes. powder or something that's dried yeah. there and a liquid because you're going to change sort of the balance, aren't you, of the mix, Probably the ratio, set. that's the word I'm looking for. How pretty is that though? What lovely gifts. If you're looking for something a little bit different for everybody, then this is maybe the show that you need to be buying from because, you know, when it comes to gifts for people and we're stuck for ideas, think of being able to create and then making a gift box for your wonderful piece to go into as well. Or perhaps you're looking at buying the whole kit for somebody to have a go themselves. 650-615 is the item number. And don't forget, you do have those two choices. Let's have a reminder of the tray kit as well because, of course, completely different shape molds in this one I loved the idea that Rachel had with of course the liquid soap or, and the hand cream together if you wanted to put a bar of soap in there you could do you could wash that out afterwards we're thinking jewelry your loose change your keys do you know so many ideas again now what is different about this kit as well it's not just the shape of the mold it is the fact that you can make your own terrazzo flakes which is wonderful because you do get the pigments in here uh, just a reminder that you've got all three of those primary colors so you can mix various different colors with those you've got the black and the white in there as well let me show you another tray because i really do like this one i think that would look very very smart especially in a bathroom uh, perhaps if you've got greys and blacks i mean most mm -hmm. of us have white bathroom suites as well and black and white goes with everything that'd look really really lovely very modern it does look very expensive as well it looks like you've paid a fortune for that in a gift shop for somebody but yeah don't just think about those bathrooms kitchens lounge conservatory it doesn't really matter what room in the house these are going to go because they're going to work now you do get those um, wonderful ingredients all here as well now you do need a set of digital scales for this kit simply because you want to measure out for those flakes when you make your own flakes but most of us will have those already if you haven't then they are very accessible to get hold of and not expensive either uh, well worth getting them even if you're thinking of using them another time for other needs in the kitchen of course 196541 is the item number you're saving five pounds on this this kit you're getting the cups you're getting the gloves in there the plastics included the stirrers all of those ingredients of course to make the lovely trays two payments of 20 pounds on this one one nine six five four one now the jewelry kit i love the idea of this one because you've got those lovely molds that make different uh, different shape pendants there but of course if you've got that spare that spare resin after you've mixed it as well, you can do the same thing, put that onto plastic, crush it up, make some more. Now you can make four to five different pendants here. You are getting the two different moulds. So we've got the oval and the triangle. Actually you've got three because you've got the, the larger one in there as well. Now you can see, oops, that's where the hole is going to be. You don't have to worry about drilling. It's already there for you. Uh, so don't worry about that at all. If you've got the moles without the hole, then of course you've got the findings that go with it. That's included with the cord here as well, which I'm just going to pick up so you can see. Such a pretty colour as well. 
there you can see those lovely findings in there so we're looking at the samples we've got the triangular pendant that is on one of the findings and also we've got an oval on one as well in the blue can i just ask you uh, rachel what do we need to stick the finding to the resin what do we use i've used super glue super glue amazing so something again that we've probably already got in the home do you know there is jewelry glue out available out there as well those epoxy glues there's all sorts of different glues i'm sure you've either got something or you can get very very easily and we've even got some little stud earrings here how I've, pretty are these i've got the mold here oh for that does that come yes, included it does um you get either a rectangular or a oval pendant mold right and you oh, get one I of see. these little if you hang on to that, Rachel, we'll have a look at that at demo area and we'll show you that. So if you want to create the little earrings, you can do. That's going to take very little of the resin as well. It is, yeah. And you can still add those flakes in there. Love it. Absolutely love it. Let me just show you these other pendants as well. Because you do get the metallic flakes. You get the mineral flakes in there as well, giving a different effect. Very nice indeed. And this is one of those moulds, again, where the hole is already in there for you. So you know it's going to be in the centre. You know you don't have to drill that yourself. Already ready to go. And a really lovely weighty piece. Now this is a huge bundle actually. A really good starter kit. So you've got your resin liquid in there. You've got all of those different five pigments in there. Don't forget you can mix those together. You've got your moulds in there. Various different moulds. Of course you've got your instructions. You've got the cups. You've got your gloves in there. The plastic, the stirrers. The cord and the findings are in there, the mineral flakes and the metallic flakes as well. So an awful lot for your money. £5 saving here, £29.99 is the price. Item number 160009 and a quarter of the stock has gone. Now we are going to go back to Rachel. We'll have a look at that mould actually because it's a really interesting mould. So if you want to make your earrings, this is a really good way of doing it because you've got a lot of single pieces in that one mould, haven't you? Yes, you've got... Um you can make pairs of circles, squares, triangles and diamonds and then up on the top line there's just a slightly bigger one of each. So you've got findings to make three pairs of stud earrings but um, if you've got uh, jewellery findings at home you can make lots of mini pairs of stud earrings. Lovely. I'm thinking as well if you wanted just to make the shapes you could use the shapes and put those in if you're going for the coasters or the trays as well and you could yes. have those geometric shapes yes. within those pieces as yes. well if you were going to do that you could make the um the shapes beforehand and then when you make your mix um of the powder and the liquid um take your tray and place the little circles and triangles yeah. etc down on the tray and then pour the mix on top lovely Lovely. Right, now then, have you got more demonstrations for us, Rachel? Is there something else we can see? I've just got one of the pendants to unpop. Oh, lovely. So obviously this has been used, you've used the pigment from the kit here. So have you used the black pigment or yes. have you mixed more the, than one colour? How I've has used, this been done? I've used the black and into the mould I popped some of the gold and silver leaf. And then I poured the liquid down on top. Okay. And then that keeps the, the leaf in place. Ah, yes. So it's that placed. Holds nicely. So you can add as much or as little as you like. You could arrange those in a bit of a pattern if you wanted you to could, then, because yes. they do actually stick and hold down like that Lovely. and then um, with a couple of the pendants up there I placed some of the mineral flakes in there as well they're really pretty actually the mineral flakes I do like them a lot and then once again to sand it pop it in the water okay now you said uh, to me before the show Rachel that you've started doing workshops back in January and obviously with the pandemic things have changed a little bit but this would have been a lovely workshop hopefully you'll be able to pick that up again in the future yes I just set up to run these workshops along with some other ones and then the pandemic hit oh. and we had to stop but I have everything in place to start running these workshops again oh, so we will be doing the trays in the jewellery and the coasters and um, 
other workshops in the pipeline as well. Oh, wonderful. So got keep Christmas an eye out for those. Up. I'm just going to show you this other pendant, actually, because we have got some of the metallic flakes in it, but also the mineral flakes as well. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of a tilt so it catches the light. Isn't that lovely? Really, really pretty. Gorgeous. Do you know, I did say to you before the hour, Rachel, you'd be surprised how fast this hour goes. Would you believe it? We've only got 15 minutes left. No, that's gone really quickly. <laughs> I did tell you. <laughs> You think you've had about 10 minutes and then yeah. before you know it, we're, we're being counted out. But you're doing a great job, you really are. There is still time if you've got any questions for Rachel to send in. Or just say hello or welcome to the Achanda family. Um, studio at achanda.com, of course. Perhaps you've made things before with your resins. Perhaps you've worked with eco resins, the water-based resins. Do let us know what you've been doing with those as well. That would be lovely. Have you got ideas then, uh, Rachel, for other kits in the future, for different shaped moulds, different home decor pieces perhaps? Uh, yes. More jewellery? Uh, we're working on, so you can make your own terrazzo door numbers. Oh, I like that idea. So it would either be the, the black terrazzo, black and white terrazzo in a white background or reverse. That would look very nice. Oh, I like that idea a lot. And then um, some Christmas ornaments. As well. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> they would make really special gifts, wouldn't they? Yes. Because their keepsakes are going to be put away and brought out every year. I love anything that's got, you know, sentimental value, especially yes. when it's been handmade as well. And then also some um, pots so that you can um, either put ready made candles in or you can pour your own candles into them as oh. well. Do you know that's a nice idea as well? So Love it. they can be scented for Christmas. Oh, and what do the children think? How do they find things? Are they are they pleased? Are they excited about seeing you on TV today? Are they enjoying they are excited. helping? They've asked me every day since I said to them, I'm going on TV. Really? If today's the day that we go, I'm going on TV. And they've been jumping up and down with excitement. <laughs> well, boys, if you're still jumping up and down now, Mum's working really, really hard. And everybody here at Chanda wants to wish you a very special day, actually, because you've, you've been waiting patiently to see Mum, and she's doing a great job. So, Ollie and Harry, it's lovely to have Mum on board. Hopefully we might get to see you someday too as well. <laughs> you never know. You, you never, never know. know. So I added some of the... That looks lovely, Rachel. Brighter colour chips. There you are. From there the we can coasters that. into the black pendant. Beautiful. And remember, of course, every time you create something, it's going to be totally unique because depending on the size of the flakes, the placement of the flakes, the, the amount that you sand back, it is going to look different. Lovely. I suppose you could personalise these if you wanted to as well, in a way. If you've got an um, electric uh, cutting machine, we sell them here, the crickets or the silhouette. You could use vinyl. Uh, maybe cut out shapes and apply vinyl yes. stickers to it as well. Yes, you could. If you've got um, an alphabet mould, you could um, take your initial and cast it with the eco resin and then set it into the mould and then have personalised coasters. Oh, that's a lovely idea, isn't it? That is a really nice idea. So you'd put the letter into the mould first and then pour on the top again. Yes. Fabulous and idea. reverse the letter so it shows the right way when you... That's, that's an important point. That's a mistake you could make. So something like, some of them it doesn't matter. O for Ollie, that's fine. Uh, H for Harry, that would work as well. A would work, but if you've got an E, <laughs> you've got to be very careful. Or a B. Yes, there are quite a few that you need to make sure you get the right way around or the wrong way around to start with. Let's have another look at everything we've got on the show, of course. So we've got the hexagon coasters for you, first of all. Now, remember, with this particular kit, you don't need those scales. Everything's already weighed out for you. Um, you've got those two different choices as well. So the black-brown flakes in this one. So I'll just show you the sample again. Let me just show you the depth of the mould again so you can see exactly what you're getting. That's if you fill into the top there. Just watch out. If you don't want to do the sanding afterwards around the base there, that you don't over 
fill as well, which is really simple to do. Just put a little bit less resin in there, and then you can, you've got more to play with for another project as well, haven't you, then? And then we've got the primary. In fact, I didn't show you the back of any of these. I am going to show you the back of this one now, just to show you the difference. Because there, of course, although you do, you know, you can sand the back down to make sure it's perfectly smooth, you're not seeing the flex in the same way. That's because you need to do more of the sanding, as Rachel has showed us, to bring through those flakes and to bring through those colours. It really does make a difference. And the, the feel of these is absolutely gorgeous. Love the fact that this is an eco-friendly resin as well. It's water-based. You know, there's no nothing in there that's going to do any harm we do, we are providing the gloves for you or Rachel's providing the gloves for you because just any sort of powders can be a slight irritant so if you want to play it safe do wear the gloves when you're doing this you've got the mixing cups you've got the mixers you've got the sandpaper of ver various different grades in there as well some are finer than others um, you even do get the coconut oil in here as well so if you want to give a little bit of protection and add a little bit of a sheen to the finished resin pieces you can do just by rubbing that into the surface so there's two options there same price same item number just go for the option that you like a four pound saving 32 pounds and 99 pence 650615 then our trays now this is the one where you will want the digital scales because you're going to make your own terrazzo flex which I think is a lovely idea. So you've got a little bit more to craft with here. Uh, think about, you know, extending the time you work with this, get those different size flakes, the different color flakes as well, because you've got the pigments in here, so you can mix those colors. It does include those three primary colors and the black and the white as well. So you can color the resin and those flakes. Really lovely effect here. I think, Rachel, you said you can have up to three colours yes. in one go. And you can also color the base as well. It doesn't have to be black or white. Yes, it of course. Can be any so this one we have got a white base, but you can see the rim around there is a different colour. Then you've got those colours in the flex there as well. I don't. I don't, wouldn't have thought many people would want to paint, but you could paint over this if yes. you wanted to. Maybe do the base or do an effect on the base there as well. Yes. Obviously, you don't want to make the flex and cover them up, but it will take your paint yeah. finishes as well. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let me just show you the black and white one as well. I really like this. I think this looks so expensive. Is that lovely? You could use that as a candle holder as well. Yes, yeah. I mean, we said about putting your, your um, soap on there. You've got your candles that could go on there. We said about keys, your loose change. Do you know, you can use these for whatever you want to do. Love it. 39 is the price. £5 saving, One nine six five four one. Then to our jewellery. Now, this is a huge kit again. A really good price point as well because you're getting various different moulds to make different pieces. And you're getting things like your cord in there, which is very pretty, I've got to say. So you can create your pieces straight away or from this one kit. You do get a couple of the findings in there as well. You have got moulds here that have got the holes already in place for you. They don't look like holes in the mould, obviously. They look like little posts that stick up, but they will create the holes in your finished piece. We can see that there. There's the mould I'm talking about, which is fantastic. Um, I've got another sample here as well. Let me just give you a reminder of this one. In fact, I'm going to show you both more, both of these samples we've got here. So you can see the metallic flakes again there. I love that colour. Love that green. So that's been mixed with the pigments, Rachel. Yes. And there you've got the blue as well. And you can see we've got mineral flakes in here as well as the metallic flakes. Just a, a lovely kit again. And is it important to use that coconut oil again just to give it a little bit of protection, a little yep, bit of a sheen? A bit of uh, protection, a bit of a sheen. Sometimes when it dries, it has a bit of a sort of a powdery colour. So if you add on the coconut oil and rub it in, it gives a little bit of a sheen and brings the colours up as well. Lovely. And you only need a small amount of yes. that, of course. Five pounds saving on this kit, $29.99 is the price, 160009. Now the little pot of coconut oil is here. Now you do need just a very a very a small tiny, amount, don't yes. you? A tiny amount. Let me just open this up. So have we got more than enough for the pendants we Definitely. can create from this kit? Yes, very more than more Would than you enough. ever need to reapply that just to give any more protection? Or once it's on, is, is that um, enough? You can um, apply it. Um, after a few wipes with a damp cloth, if you've got spillage on your trays or drop something on your jewellery, jewellery, then you might want to just go over it again with the coconut oil. Oh, wonderful. 
everything been thought about for you then do take advantage of course this is the only hour that rachel has got with us brand new uh, brand new supply here talking point that's what we're looking at here as the uh, the brand name of course rachel's own business family business the children husband have all got involved as well uh, let's have a look though how our flexi basket works because we do have an option with a flexi basket Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, do take advantage and spread that cost. Now, we've only got four minutes left on the show. Uh, so we're just going to have a final recap so you can see everything that we've got there. Do you know what? I'm just thinking, again, is there any more ideas, things that you could make, that you could put into your resin as well? Of course, with the first kit, you are making those coasters. Now, I'm not going to suggest you do this necessarily with this one because you've got those lovely flakes in here. But I was reading something recently on social media about, you know, pe the way people want to save things and have their memories and someone was talking about their pet you know because when you lose your pets a little bit of their fur or their hair maybe you could set into resin as well so it's a memento in that way we've talked about um, metal embellishments perhaps maybe there's a button from a garment that's something sentimental as well so you could use all those sorts of things so the only thing you've got to remember of course when it comes to your coasters your cup needs to sit on there so you want to make sure it is a nice smooth surface so whatever you put in there if you are adding anything extra it's got to be able to sand back or be set deep enough that it's not going to interfere with that so for this particular kit I just think just the flakes as they are are absolutely perfect and you do have the choice of the brown black or of course the primary and I'm just going to show you the back again just so you can see the difference with the sanding let me just show you the back of the black brown or the brown black first of all so without sanding you can see the flakes are in there you can see that there's a little bit of lumpiness there because it does need that sanding back but just look how that reveals those beautiful flakes it does look stunning doesn't it so the whole kit again, you've got everything measured out for you, the resin liquid is in there, you've got the flakes already created for you, so you just put those in as few or as many as you like, very pretty indeed, those different sizes in there as well, if you want to pick and choose those sizes you can do, you are getting the full instructions, you're getting two moulds in each set, whether they're clear or white it doesn't matter they do exactly the same thing you've got your mixing cups in there you've got your protective gloves in there you've got your mixing spatulas in there as well you've got your coconut oil uh, the resin just a reminder it doesn't matter what shape bottle they come in you're going to get the the measured out ratios that's the word i'm looking for again uh, so it's all thought out for you six five zero six one five is the item number saving four pounds and it's the primaries that are still in the lead you're liking your colors this afternoon right a reminder of the trays as well very nice idea these i think if you make a gift box to put these in and you want to give these this is a, a keepsake that's going to last and be very very useful again you've got all of those ingredients you're going to need apart from because you're making your own terrazzo flakes here you will need the digital scales to weigh out to create those the primary colors are included you've got the black and the white pigment in there as well you only need a few drops it's very very highly pigmented that's what it is it colors for you so you can choose the depth of color you can mix those colors together item number 196541 five pounds saving on this one and two payments if you want to take that flexi buy option of 20 pounds so this 
with this one of course you're opening up that flexi basket so if you want to add anything else then you can spread the cost as well so we've got both samples there but you can create your own version you can decide on those colors and then of course we've got the jewelry kit as well we are almost out of time but it gives me enough time just to say rachel thank you very very much thank you that's the end of your very first hour and you're showing a chanda did you did you love that did you i did i love it, it? Were you okay? The nurse seemed to settle yes, a little bit. Yes. Oh, and it was great that the boys were watching as well. Very proud of mum, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. Oh, thank you so, so much, Rachel. Do you know, where does the hour go? I know we say this an awful lot, but it really does fly by. Don't forget to check those baskets out. Uh, do have a look at all the details on the, on the internet as well under the item descriptions, but stay with us. We've got much more to come. I will be giving you a menu in a short.